Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Well, let's solve another problem on uh, uh, pyramids. It's a very simple problem, however, um, it involves certain um, stereometric vision, if you wish, and uh, it also based on um, some problems which we have uh, solved before. Um, it's related to similarity in three-dimensional space. All right, so here is the problem. Let's say we have a regular triangular pyramid. Um, S is the apex and A, B, C are um, the vertices at the base. Now, it's regular pyramid, which means basically two things. Number one, base is uh, equilateral triangle. So all sides are equal. AB, BC, and AC. Also, regular pyramids have the property of apex to be above the center of the right uh, of the regular uh, polygon at, at the base. So, um, if you have a regular polygon, um, it has certain center, which is usually the center of circumscribed or inscribed circle. And in case of a triangle, like in this case, if you have equilateral triangle, then the center is basically where all the medians, all the altitudes, all the angle bisectors are intersecting, and this is also a center of circumscribed circle and inscribed circle. I mean, it's center of everything, if it's the regular equilateral triangle. So, what we can say is that S, the apex, projects at the center of this uh, uh, regular polygon, regular equilateral triangle. So let me just draw this altitude. Okay, this is an altitude of the pyramid. And this is, let's call it O, this is the center of equilateral triangle, which in particular means it's the center of intersection of medians or altitudes, etc. Now, what we do now next is we have a plane which we draw from apex S perpendicularly to the median AM. Through this altitude. So it actually intersects, this plane will intersect uh, side faces ABS and ACS. Now, it, since it's perpendicular to um, the plane and it's perpendicular to AM and AM is perpendicular to BC, so it should be the intersection should be something like this. This intersection between this section um, should be uh, parallel to BC. Let's call it PQ. And obviously it will cut something like here, the front uh, face, and on the back it would be something like this. So we have a triangle SPQ which is within the plane uh, perpendicular to the base goes through this altitude SO and it's perpendicular to AM in particular. So plane PSQ is perpendicular to AM. Now it's a triangle and it has certain area. So area of uh, P S Q equals, let's call it S. That's not what we have to determine. <laughs> now, 
Now I will do a slightly different section. I will section, I, I will make a cut parallel to this plane, but a little bit closer, exactly at one half. So let's call this H. And now I will draw a plane parallel to PSQ, um, which is perpendicular to the same AM, through this point H. So it will be something like this. Um, so it's another triangle, a little bit closer to the uh, to, to, to the vertex A. It has a different area. So let's call it P prime and Q prime. So what I'm talking about, and this is S prime. I need the area of this triangle in terms of the S, where S is the area of the bigger triangle. So we are cutting our pyramid with two planes which are both perpendicular to the base and in particular both are perpendicular to AM the median and one is through the altitude of the whole pyramid and another is slightly closer to the A it cuts AM in half so H is the midpoint of AM Q is not so my question is What's the area of this smaller triangle? All right, now let's think about it. Um, we all remember what similarity in 3D is. So what I'm talking right now about, why, why, why am I talking about similarity? Because obviously you can consider triangles um, P prime, S prime, Q prime, so triangle P prime, S prime, Q prime, similar to triangle P, S, Q, with A center of scaling. So A is a center, and basically what I'm talking right now about is that this we, we can consider this as a, as a scaling. Now, why can we do this? Well, primarily because all the plane triangles like APS prime, A, A, P prime, S prime, and APS are obviously similar because two parallel planes, PSQ and P prime, S prime, A, 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 Q, are intersecting the plane ABS, which means that the lines of intersection are parallel to each other. Same thing on that side, S, uh, ACS. Both lines, SQ and S prime, Q prime, are parallel to, par parallel to each other. So, there is obviously a, a similarity between these two triangles and on the back uh, two triangles as well. And the coefficient, the factor, would be exactly the same. And here is how we can actually think about this. The coefficient between uh, the scaling factor between, um, let's say, um, SP and S prime, P prime, would be the same as between AP and AP prime, right? Because these triangles are similar. In turn, AP to AP prime would probably be related as AO to AH for instance, because these are also parallel lines. Similarly on that side, um, S uh, Q and S prime Q prime would be related the same as A Q to A Q prime, which are in turn would be related again to A O to A H. So they're all proportional to each other. And since they are all, all proportional to each other, we can talk about similarity of the entire um, triangles um, S P Q and S prime P prime Q prime with a scaling based on this center and the factor which I was just talking about. Now, next thing is to remember that 
um, well, in two-dimensional world, scaling increases or decreases all the lengths by the same factor. And in three-dimensional case, we can talk about errors. Now, errors are always increasing or decreasing in the square of the factor, right? So, if we know the factor of this scaling, then we can definitely say that the area of uh, s q p p uh, uh, p s q and and p prime s prime q prime are related as a square of the factor. So the only question remaining is what's the factor? All right, that's easy actually. Let's consider this triangle in two-dimensional world. This is an equilateral triangle. Now A M is a medium. A M is a medium. All right. And point O is that's where all the medians are intersecting, right? That's the center of um uh, circumference, for instance. Um inscribed or circumscribed, whatever. Now, remember a very old and very trivial theorem in, in plane geometry that medians are always um, intersecting at the point which cuts each of them uh, at the ratio of 1 to 2. 1 to 2, 1 to 2. So this piece is half of that piece. So one third of the median is the short uh, uh, end and the two third is the bigger end. Well, if you don't remember it, go to the uh, plane geometry course and triangles. That's very, um, very well explained over there. So, what I can say is that AO is equal to two third of AM. Now, point A, H, is the center of AM. That's H. Which means AH is equal to one half of AM, of the median. So what's my ratio? AO divided by AH is equal to two-third divided by one-half, right? Because AM and AM would be reduced, which is equal to what? Uh, Four-third. Now I know the factor, because AH and AO are related to each other basically as a factor. So if I divide AO by AH, I would have the scaling factor of increase. Now, that means that the area of the whole triangle, PSQ, is greater than the area of P prime S prime Q prime by the square of this factor. So, if my um, area is x, then what I can say is um, let's, let's do it this way that the area of of the big triangle which is S relates to the area of the smaller triangle as square of this which is 16 lines from which x is equal to 9 16 S so this area of this triangle is equal to 9 16 of the area of bigger triangle. So, what's important to remember here? Well, similarity in the 3G. So, all you have to do is you have to know the factor and then the errors will be proportional to square of this factor. That's important. Um, well, everything else is basically relatively trivial. I mean, to prove that this is really similarity is, is, is really um, based on trivial properties of parallel lines or parallel planes, etc., as they intersect with other planes and lines. Well, that's it. Um, 
I, I, I would suggest you actually to, to try to do the same calculations just yourself. Go to unisor.com. Uh, the conditions of this problem are, are there. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much and good luck.